Hi guys, in uh, today's video, we are going to look at uh, what is access key and how to practically use it and what is IAM role and how to practically implement it. So let's go ahead and uh, look at what we are going to do. We are going to see how to connect your EC2 instance uh, to access S3 using the access key. So let's look at the flow of what we are going to implement. Consider we have an user, I am user Adam, and uh, Adam has access to S3. That means uh, user Adam has uh, all the rights to access S3. And now Adam also has a secret access key. And this access key we are going to place on the EC2 instance. So here we are going to place Adam's secret access key on the EC2 instance. And now EC2 instance can access your S3. So just to uh, summarize, there's one user, I am user Adam. Adam has all the rights to access your uh, S3 buckets. Because, and now we are going to place Adam's secret key on the EC2 machine. So that makes EC2 instance, uh, that will allow EC2 instance to access your S3. So let's see uh, this using your AWS account. Uh, I'm going to my AWS account. Let's go to EC2. Now I'm going to launch an EC2 instance in the Mumbai region. So let's go and launch your EC2 instance. As usual, I'm going to select the AMI, Linux AMI. I'm going to keep everything default because uh, here we are demonstrating the uh, AWS secret key. So let's go ahead and keep this default. I'm going to add storage. This will be default. I don't want to add any tags. I don't want to configure any security groups. So I'll be using the default configuration. I'm going to review and then launch. So I'll confirm that I have the key value pair and then launch the instances. So it takes a while to launch the instances. By then, what we are going to do, we are going to go to I am user and then create the user Adam. So by the time it uh, comes back to the running state, we are going to go to I am user. So let's go there. I am. And now we are going to create user Adam in, in the I am. So let's go to the users <coughs> and add user. So here you can add the user. Let's see, and the username should be Adam as we saw in a slide and we need programmatic access. Programmatic access is where you get your uh, secret access key and access key ID. So let's go to next and I'm going to attach permission to this uh, user because I want this user to access your S3. So just type S3 here and you will get all the permissions related to S3. For time being, I am going to give uh, read-only access to this user, Amazon S3 read-only access. Next, go to the tags. I don't want to add any tags. Review, and I'll create the user. So I've created the user with the name Adam. And I got hold of the access key ID and the secret access key. I'll click on show. And for, for the moment, I'm going to copy this, these two things uh, in the notepad. So I'm just copying these two things in the notepad for a while. Let me copy it. So this is my access key. I have copied it. And this is my secret key. Okay, so that's all about access key and secret key. Now let's go to the EC2 instance and try to connect to S3. So I'll go to EC2. By this time, the EC2 instance uh, must have been launched. So let's go and check. I'm on EC2 instance now and our instance should be in running state. So that's good. Uh, I'll try to connect to this EC2 instance using EC2 instance connect. I'll connect. <coughs> now I'm into the console of, of the EC2 instance. So let's try to clear the console. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll try to connect to S3 from this EC2 instance. 
uh, let's fire the command AWS LS, AWS S3 LS. Okay, but we got this message which, which says you have to configure your AWS before connecting your EC2 instance to S3. So now let's see how to configure and add your access key ID and secret key to your EC2 instance. So I'll do AWS configure and it is asking me for the access key ID. I'll copy the access key ID, which I, which I have in my notepad. So let me copy this access key ID. Yes, and I'm going to paste it here. Access key ID is there, perfect. I'm going to copy the secret key ID, which I copied in my notepad. So here is your secret key ID. And I'm going to enter. My region is AP South one which is which is mumbai i don't want uh, any default output format and that's it now uh, let's go and check what's there in our s3 so i'll go to s3 <coughs> and i'll try to create a new bucket in s3 so that we'll be able to understand if aws is correctly connecting to s3 so let's create the bucket and this bucket name is unique across the globe so for, for me, I'll have demo bucket job ready, job ready trainings. So this is my bucket and I'm going to keep everything default and then create the bucket. So let's see if the bucket gets created. I have one bucket where uh, the name is demo bucket job ready trainings and I'll try to add two objects to this. So the objects will be files that I'm going to add first.png and second.png. So I'll open it and I've uploaded two instances of uh, uh, first.png and second.png. Let me upload it. So that is uploaded successfully. Perfect. Now we already configured our EC2 instance to connect to S3 using your access key ID and your secret key ID. Now let's try to connect your EC2 instance to S3, AWS, S3, and then LS. As we can see, we are connected to our S3 and we got the name of the bucket, which we just created, which is demo bucket job ready trainings. So that's all right. Let's try to do one more operation where I'll try to list the content of, of the bucket. So just to list the content of the bucket, we need to run the command AWS S3 LS and then the bucket name. So it's bucket hyphen job ready, job ready trainings. And you, you get the content of your job ready training bucket, which is first.png and second.png. Now what we have done, we have placed the access key ID of Adam uh, and the secret key of Adam onto our EC2 machine, which is not the best practice. So let's see why it is not the best practice. Uh, whenever you configure your EC2 instance and add the keys, so that those keys uh, get stored in your folder known as AWS. If I try to list uh, list the content of this folder, there will be two things. One is config, one is credentials. So let's go and try to cat your credentials. So I'll cat the credentials and you see the access key ID and the secret key that we added. And anyone who can access this machine can get hold of this access key ID and the secret key. In which case uh, they will be able to access their uh, they will be able to access S3 from anywhere who possess this access key ID and secret key. So this is not the best practice of, of connecting your EC2 instance to S3. So what I'll do, I'll remove these two files from my AWS folder. So let me quickly do LS. Uh, I'll remove RM config. So I've just removed the config and I am going to remove the credentials both. Now try to do LS and your AWS thing is, uh, AWS folder is empty. So let's go back and it is now, your EC2 instance won't be able to connect to S3. Let's check if it is able to connect to S3. 
and e it says it does not have permission to connect to s3 and do aws configure now we will check one of the better ways to connect your ec2 instance to s3 using iam role so let me clear the screen and go to presentation once again now what we are going to look at is uh, there's one iam role uh, the role name is s3 read only and this role has permission to access your s3 bucket now we are going to assign this role to your ec2 instance that means your ec2 instance will be able to access s3 because we assigned the iam role to the ec2 instance and this will make ec2 inst this will allow ec2 instance to access your s3 buckets or s3 objects so let's check this flow in action in your um, aws account so i'll go to iam <coughs> And this time I'm going to create a new role which has access, which has permission to access your S3 bucket. So let's go to roles. Here I am, I'm going to create new role. Role is where you give permission to access some service in your AWS account. So the, we want our EC2 instance to access S3. So common use cases, we can, we'll select EC2, let's go to next and this role will have permissions to access your s3 so i am adding s3 and amazon s3 read only access is the permission is the policy name that i'm going to select let's go to next and this will be s3 read only the role name is s3 read only so s3 read only is the role name and let's create the role so creating the role, we'll wait for a while until the role gets created. The role is created. Now we have one role S3 read only, and we are going to assign this role to our EC2 instance. So let's go to EC2. And I'm going to go on EC2 console. Okay, that's all right. Now we'll select this thing uh, this EC2 instance, and in the actions, we have to assign our IAM role to this EC2 instance. So we created one IAM role. That IAM role must be visible here as 3 read only. You can see it's visible. I'm going to select this and I'm going to save. That means we have assigned the IAM role to the EC2 instance. Now your EC2 instance must be able to access S3 without storing access key ID or secret access key. So let's see if it is able to do that. I'm going to click on connect. That's perfect, let's connect. Yes, so it is connected now. I'll clear the console and let's try to see if this EC2 machine is able to access your S3. So AWS S3 LS, and you can see this, this EC2 instance is able to access your S3 because now it has a role uh, that has permission to access S3. Let's see if it is able to list uh, the content of the bucket, AWS S3 LS and the bucket name. Uh, that's what we do. So demo bucket <clears throat> hyphen job ready trainings so it should be able to access uh, the content of the bucket as well perfect so that's about assigning role to your ec2 instance so let's summarize what we what we saw in the in the first part of the video <clears throat> we saw how to assign uh, how to add your access key id and secret key in your ec2 instance so we created a user adam and then we uh, then we took the access key ID and secret key ID of Adam and placed it on your EC2 machine. That means now your EC2 machine has access to S3. So we can access S3. And in the second part of the video, we saw how to create IAM role and assign it to your EC2 machine. So we created one IAM role S3 read only, <coughs> which has access to, which has permission to access your S3 bucket. And then we assigned that role to your EC2 instance. That means your EC2 instance will be able to access S3. So that we saw in the second part. 
so that's all about this video guys where we saw how to use your access key and how to use your im role and assign permissions to your ec2 instance to access s3 <clears throat> so that's all for this video we also provide trainings so we are going to provide our phone number and our email id in the description so if you want to get trained on aws uh, we recommend you to call us uh, thank you guys for watching this video see you in the next video thank you